Welcome to the channel, everybody. I am glad that you are able to find me. Five years ago, I decided to purchase the Fuji GFX 50S medium format system. And the first lens that I picked was the 32 by 64 f4 lens to go with that camera. So since it's been five years, I'm going back and I'm doing reviews of all the lenses that I've used during that time and talking about were they worth the price or are they worth the price today? So stick with me to find out if the GF 32 to 64 f4 lens is worth the price then and if it is worth the price now. All right, let's talk about the lens. The GF 32 to 64 millimeter lens was the first zoom lens in the GFX medium format uh, camera system. It was one of only a couple of lenses available when the camera system launched. So therefore, it was almost a must have five years ago. We'll talk about whether it's a must have today, but back then it pretty much was the lens that you could get to be able to do some of the things that this lens does. The aperture is fixed at f4, which is super, super helpful. Uh, it gives you a good range and the equivalent on full frame or 35 millimeter is approximately 25 to 51 millimeters for those that are more familiar with that system. The build quality of this lens is amazing, just as you would expect. Uh, everything is smooth. The aperture ring, you know, is just glides. It's, it is a top-notch built well lens. Let's talk about what this lens can be used for. I'm going to start off by just saying this is a super versatile lens. The zoom range covers a, a wide range that puts you uh, anywhere from being able to do big landscapes, take portraits, I've used it for so many things. I've used it for weddings, events, candid shots. I've used it for commercial shots. I've used it for uh, landscape, seascape photography. I, this lens is super versatile and is a great carry around lens if you don't mind carrying around the big GFX Fuji system. This is a great zoom to carry around, to move around all day. All right, let's talk about image quality. As with any of the GF uh, lenses that I've tried so far, they produce amazing images. The GF 32 to 64 is no exception. Notice here with this seascape, the wave is blurred and all the detail and sharpness that you see in the rocks. Or notice here the awesome detail in the canvas of this painting. Thank you Teal Hathaway for allowing me to use this uh, from a commercial shoot uh, as an example of the detail and the texture that this lens helps produce. As with all lenses, some things could always be better. There's always trade-offs. We all want the magic lens that does everything. But with that, the GF 32 to 64 lens, the nit that I have with it is it is really heavy at 875 grams. For that amount of weight, I really wish it would have had uh, some sort of image stabilization built in, kind of like the uh, 120 millimeter has. Uh, that being missing, uh, really to me makes is a big knock on it being a walk around lens, even though it still is, uh, it would have been better to have that. Overall though, that is really just a nit. I have to tell you, I really, really like this lens a lot and there's not a lot of things that it leaves uh, to desire. And with the 50S2 having image stabilization built into the camera, this is really just uh, a, a trying to pick something out of the hat to say that this lens could be better. Photography gear is just really expensive and as a photographer we buy a lot of gear. Now sometimes that gear is worth it and sometimes it's not. So after five years of use 
is the Fuji 32 to 64 worth the $2,300 price tag? Well, I'm just gonna come out and say that for me, this lens was totally worth the price tag. I've used it on commercial shoots. I've used it to help shoot weddings. I've used it for fine art photography. I've used it walking around for candids. This has been a great lens and after five years of use, I fully expect to get another five years out of it. At this point, I do not see anything else that I would buy that would outproduce this or makes me think that I could take better images if I had it instead of the 32 by 64 millimeter. How does this lens stack up to the competition? Well, Fuji just recently released a new GF 35 to 70 uh, lens, kit lens, uh, for the GFX system, and it comes in at a price of $1,000. That's a lot less than the 32 by 64. So let's talk about the differences and maybe how one is better than the other, or they're two different things. First is there's no aperture ring on the 35 to 70. This is something that's on all the other Fuji lenses. It's something that I've gotten really used to using and when you're in a situation where you have to be quick with your gear, having stuff that's different can make you a little bit slower and potentially miss the shot. So this is a big, big deal for me. If it's not a big deal for you or something that you're not as used to, maybe it's not as big of a deal for you. I also like the 32 by 64 because it is just a little bit wider and for me that little bit wider makes it where I can get those landscape shots that the 35 probably is just not gonna quite get me there. Uh, this is really important as a walk around lens because it makes it less versatile to me. So for me, I think that the wider field of view and the, the fact that it's missing a aperture ring and the fact that it's an f4.5 to 5.6 variable aperture, uh, so you lose a little bit of light. These things to me make the 32 to 64 worth the extra money, uh, but there is competition because this kit lens does give people the opportunity to get into a very uh, low cost option uh, zoom in the Fuji system. Thanks for watching everybody. I really hope that you got what you needed out of this. I really like the GF 32 to 64 uh, F4 lens. I really hope that uh, I've given you uh, some, some pros, some cons, some things to think about. And at the end of the day, my personal opinion is this lens was totally worth the price given that I've had it for five years. If you liked this information, in content, please hit the thumbs up below. And if you wanna see more content, uh, please subscribe. I wanna hear what your thoughts are on the 32 to 64 lens. Have you used it? Is it something you're considering purchasing? How did you like it if you've used it? Please leave me a comment below. And until the next time, enjoy your photography journey.